Hello world, it is Saturday, January 30th, 2021, and um, I'm using a new camera today, so the clarity of this video ought to be a lot better than it has been in, in the past. Um, today's devotion, if I may find it again, is entitled, oh, by the way, in the weather, I should give the weather, I always do that, right? It's kind of overcast and cool this morning, I'm not sure what it's going to be like later in the day, but it's quite chilly out there typical January day in the Midwest. The uh, devotion for today is entitled Tremors, written by Rachel Hackenberg. And Rachel bases the devotion upon Psalm 46, excerpts from verses 2 through 5, New Revised Standard Version. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God. God is in the midst of the city. It shall not be moved. And Rachel writes, My daughter was due to be in Washington, D.C. last fall as a new college student until the pandemic closed her campus like so many others. Yet even from the distance of Zoom lectures, she is already noticing that D.C. has a, has a front row seat to national and international news. Washington, D.C. isn't a city that, easily, that quakes easily. The tremor of the, of the big national headline is rarely earth-shattering and often routine, a road closure due to security, a metro car crowded with weekend protesters, a neighborhood re-landscaped by the federal budget. Election seasons come and go, so do protests, so do buses full of tourist ch school children. Government shutdowns are local, personal, and regrettably predictable. So is gentrification, so is suburban expansion. When insurrection erupted in the capital city on January 6th, what stood out to me most was the uncanny normalcy of it all. Chanting crowds, racist violence, white presumption. Like a deeply rooted mountain that vainly casts shadows across the valley and has no interest in making room for the sun's light. It was not a dramatic quaking that smashed windows of the capitol building. It was the mountain itself. It was not a tsunami that shouted lies on the floors of the House and Senate. It was the very heartbeat of the ocean's tides. The arrogant mountain stands in plain sight. We need not fear it or be surprised by it. The seething ocean pulses in rhythmic aggravation. We need not tremble or turn away. Let the mountain of hatred crumble in a, land, crumble in a landslide. Let fear drown us in its own tides. Let the whole earth quake until our sins against one another disintegrate to dust. Where God is among us, we shall not be moved. And Rachel's prayer. Steady my trembling heart with courage, O God. Calm my rapid breath with love. Bolster my beloved, my faith in beloved community. Now I am ready for hatred to crumble within me and all around me. Amen. Well, this devotion hits on a lot of different things, I think, a lot of different emotions. Um, and I think the most important one for me is to remember, as the psalm says, um, we will not fear that God is in the midst of the city and it shall not be moved. Because fear is what drives so much of what's going on, fear of loss of control, fear of um, a changing environment, fear of a loss of majority. Um, it's all driven by that. Instead of looking to what can be done for the good of all and the good of the community, um, our hyper-individualistic sense in the United States is to do what we can for ourselves to ensure that we have what we want and disregard others. And that's completely based upon fear. So I think remembering that God is, is in the midst of the city and it shall not be moved, is a call for us to um, let go of our own hatred um, within us and let it crumble all around us, and to be a positive living presence. The other thing it brought to mind for me was um, something I've been working on and trying to be more um, in the moment, I guess, is the word, rather than judgmental. And I think there's a fine balance between um, being in the moment and then being spurred to take action to um, 
make this place a better place for us to live and to be more like God had intended when it was created. And I struggle with that, and I struggle with that still. So I think her prayer is is, is spot on, it's asking God to uh, steady our trembling hearts and, and calm our rapid breaths with love and courage and to bolster our faith in beloved community, not individualism, and being ready to let our own hatred crumble within us and all around us so that we can come together and work together as one. So I hope you have a good day. And if you get a chance, um, click into our Facebook page tomorrow morning at about 10.15. We start with some music. And the worship service starts at 10.30. And uh, the theme tomorrow is deconstruction because that's what Jesus was all about, deconstruction helping us to tear down the things that are keeping us from transformation, from becoming the people that God had created us to be. Take care, and I will see you tomorrow.